Now, I remember when this brand first made it onto the scene, and it was kind of special because of not only who was behind it, but the fact that this was a brand engineered from the ground up specifically for motorcycle audio. On today's show, we are diving into Cicada Audio for Motorcycle Audio. This is CMA Networks, presented by SiriusXM, all about Cicada Audio. And it starts now. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another CMA Networks presentation here presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. And as you can see, we are talking motorcycle audio and more specifically, a brand that was engineered just for this cause. Of course, we're talking about Cicada Audio and we've got Grant McFadder in the studio with us who's from Trends Electronics, the Canadian distributor for Cicada. Now Grant, this is a special brand with a special lineage and I wanna give you an opportunity to talk about what we're gonna to cover today before we dive in. Hey Ben, thanks for having us on again. Uh, excited to talk about this new product. Well, not really new for us, but it's new in the marketplace. Uh, we're gonna be talking obviously speakers, we're gonna be talking amplifiers, and we're even going to be talking DSP for motorcycle. And this is purpose-built product for motorcycle. Absolutely, Grant. I can't wait to get into it. But before we do, we got a quick message from our sponsor, SiriusXM, reminding you dealers out there why it's so important to be a SiriusXM dealer. When we come back, let's dig into Cicada Audio with Grant from Trends Electronics. Hey, guys. Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling SiriusXM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love Sirius XM for commercial free music. It's a great add on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Sirius XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability, and its reliability. People love it. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's get into it. So Grant, Cicada Audio, synonymous with motorcycle audio, but a rich history and, you know, the brainchild of somebody that we can really consider an icon and a legend at this point. Talk to us a little bit about, you know, where Cicada come from, came from and the relationship with Trans Electronics. Yeah, Ben, uh, when we saw, first saw this product, you know, a little over, what, a year and a half ago, uh, the man behind it obviously was Larry Frederick, uh, the founder of the, the brand. Um, when I saw he was behind it, you know, I was like talking to the other grant to Trent. So we got to get involved somehow, some way we have to be involved with this just because of our history with Larry we, dating way back to the early nineties, even maybe before that with Phoenix gold. So, uh, I reached out to Larry a few times, bugged him, kept bugging him cause they weren't going to do international. I said, come on, man, it's us. Like, let, let's get in here. Let's just do this. So, uh, yeah, after, after some serious bugging from on my end, um, we got it all set up. And, you know, just the man himself, man, like he is, he was obviously an industry icon, uh, going back to the, the BS cards and, uh, it's no fit. There's no fairies, no pixel dusk. It's just physics. That was uh, Larry Frederick. So he'll be missed, you know, passing away a couple of months ago, um, gone way too soon. He was just getting this thing off the ground. But, um, a lot of people contacted me after that, after noticing that he'd gone and said what's going to happen with the brand well the brand is in really good hands we've got uh, uh some people behind the product um larry van sickle we've got forrest hamberlin uh, both those guys are based in arizona uh there's no problems with the company going forward we've got lots of product coming in i was actually there uh, a week ago uh in arizona and checked out the facility they got lots of product lots of new products coming in and uh, the brand is in good hands going forward. You know, Larry started it off, but uh, we're going to make sure there's a legacy with this brand going forwards. Yeah, I got to take a minute to, and, and you know what, think about and reflect on when the last time uh, we were on Grand, we were talking with Larry himself. And it was just really motivating to see the inspiration behind everything, all the ideas with Cicada. So really great news to hear. It's in good hands and excited to hear the products that we're going to be covering today. So I think the first category we're going to go with is the speakers because, man, Cicada has a lot of speakers to cover. And I think you have a couple models there and help us break it all down so dealers understand what is the offering in speakers when it comes to cicada first section we're going to cover off is their component speakers so everything from standalone tweeters themselves to the mid-base drivers to the grill kits with the tweeters built in 
there's a lot of offering here. Uh, you know, we're talking, it was mainly built for Harley Davidson bikes. Uh, so we've got obviously the proprietary grills <clears throat> for the street glide here, the proprietary grill for the road glide uh, with the tweeters built in. So there's no messing around here. You unplug the uh, factory speakers, replace it with the mid-base driver and the factory grills. We've got some nice branding on here. So it doesn't say, you know, Harley Davidson. We're, we're showing off the brand. We're proud to represent the brand. So, um, street glide, road glide, tweeter grill kits. We have a standalone six and a half inch mid base. Uh, all our speakers, whether it's a six and a half, the six by nine, and we're missing the eight inch mid base on the table here, but all the speakers are available in four ohm or two ohm impedance. And we'll get to that when it comes to amplification a little bit later. But uh, I think we're the only guys really offering that much of a selection on speakers. Um, mid base drivers, to me, um, the bike uh, environment, the motorcycle environment is probably the hardest environment to get good mid base out of it. So that's why I like to focus on these where possible, if the budget allows it, is to get the sealed mid base drivers with a separate tweeter on there. We sell a crap load of their horns. That's up next. But uh, if you want that extra bit of mid base, spend the little, extra bit of money and get the mid base drivers so that you've got that sealed cone. You don't have a pole piece that's a, a open up there to uh, lose some of that mid-range and mid-base information. So go to the mid-base drivers, built like tanks, uh, all cast basket frames, you know, serious, serious product. This is not, uh, you know, off the shelf, just put, put, my, put my logo on it. This is really, really well-made product. So six and a half inch, eight inch mid-base and six by nines for the lid cut-in kits. Uh, we talked about the proprietary grills for street glide and road glide. They also have standalone tweeters. Uh, there's a lot of custom bad guys that uh, build custom fiberglass lids. So we have standalone uh, R075 three quarter inch horn tweeters. We also have a one inch horn ring tweeter as well. So if you want a little more output, uh, all the speakers, all the tweeters, sorry, uh, in the kits, when you buy them, the individual components come with this two-way passive crossover in the box. We recommend you do it. A lot of guys want to do active systems. We still recommend you use this passive network on the tweeters. It's got some tweeter protection built in there. God knows the amount of power we're going to talk about later. We're putting on some of these things. Leave the tweeter protection in there. Don't be running these things, you know, full throttle with no protection on there. Uh on the six by nine, I don't have the lid kit in front of me here, but we also have this tweeter bridge. So if you're doing the six by nine in the lid kit, you put the tweeter bridge over top, and then you can put the three quarter inch or the one inch ring tweeter into that mount. And man, this is this thing. If you haven't heard this thing yet in a lid and a bag lid, it is unbelievable. It is a beast. Uh, not only with the amount of output you get out of the horn, the amount of bin base you get out of the six by nine. So uh, where possible, again, if budget allows. This six by nine with the bridge kit and the tweeter in the back is unbelievable. Now, Grant, when it comes to components, I'm going to say that is arguably one of the biggest selections I've seen so far when it comes to component sets for motorcycle. But you mentioned some coaxes. So what are the selection uh, when it comes to coax speakers? So the CH horns is probably our you know, biggest category as far as volume goes uh, of units sold. So they make a six and a half inch coaxial horn with the horn loaded compression driver in it. They have an eight inch coaxial horn as well. And they have the six by nine. By far, these are the two most popular cells, the six and a half inch. Uh, if you want something really simple, just to go in the front fairing, the six and a half inch coaxial, uh, road glides, street glides, 2014 and up, that's your boy. Uh, Cause he's, he's really, really well priced. Tons and tons of output. And these things absolutely deliver when it comes to loud, clear, amazing audio uh, in your front fairing. Uh, for the bag lid kits, obviously need to cut in bag lid kit, uh, but the six by nine, again, making your install super easy. You're not talking about the bridge and the separate components we talked about before, but this again, makes your simple, your system really simple. So you want something kick-ass, lots of output, CH horn six and a halfs in the front, CH horn six by nines in the bag lids. Again, if both available in four ohm or two ohm options, but that's your two most popular sellers right there. Now, continuing with this crazy driver selection here, Grant, um, I think it's obvious that Cicada represents, you know, a mid-level and higher kind of representation when it comes to performance. But is there a more budget-minded uh, or budget-friendly series uh, that dealers should know about? 
Absolutely. We have the CX series uh, available for those guys that uh, are a little more, more budget sensitive. So again, keeping up with the performance of the product, um, we use a smaller neodymium magnet rather than the bigger iron ferrite magnets on here. We're going to a mylar dome tweeter instead of the compression horn drivers, but still giving you great performance. So honestly, we don't sell a ton of this product because most of the people looking for cicada are looking for the horns or the separate component speakers. But we do sell a fair amount of this for guys that are on a bit of a budget. So uh, rounding out the line, we have a five and a quarter inch uh, coaxial speaker. Those are for the older bikes, so 2013 or older. We can drop that into your factory fairing location. No spacers, no adapters, no cutting re required. Uh, we have the six and a half inch speaker, also in available in four ohm and two ohm, as are all these speakers. Uh, the six by nine lid kit ones, again, six and a half inch, six by nine, two ohm or four ohm impedance. And the one that's missing because it's brand new is we have a brand new five by seven CX speaker coming. That's specifically made for those CVO bikes where they've already got the lid kit uh, from the factory with the 5x7 in there. So we'll give you that 5x7 to upgrade for those uh, factory speakers. Um, nice speaker selection, really good sounding product. Again, not a, we don't sell a ton of this compared to the other products, but we do have that offering for guys that are a little bit more budget sensitive. Well, Grant, I'm starting to understand the story here. And the theme is application specific, engineered specifically for a motorcycle. So when it comes to amplifiers, my expectations are set pretty high. What is the uh, offering currently for the amplifiers for system building here in motorcycle audio? So Ben, the first series we got uh, that were introduced was the CX series of amplifiers. So in front of me, I have the current lineup. We have a CX 250.2, which is a 250 watt RMS by two, two channel. CX 150.4, which is obviously 150 watts by four RMS, uh, four channel amplifier. And then we have you know, the most popular one out of the three is the DSP 150.4, which will be transitioning over to a DSP 600.4 in the very near future, probably as early as next week. Uh, this one's got integrated six channel DSP. So four channel amplifier, 600 watts RMS, uh, but it's also got a six channel DSP processor built into it. So that was the initial offering. Uh, we sell a ton of the DSP units, uh, but Guys wanted more and more power. So going back to Mr. Fredericks and saying guys want crazy, he can do crazy better than anybody. So we have the new BDA series of amplifiers, which was big damn amplifier is what it stood for. Uh, I've got two of the five models in front of me right now. There's a brand new one that's still, I just saw it couple, uh, last week when I was in Arizona. There's a BDA 600, which is a 600 watt RMS four channel amplifier uh, at two ohm. We have a BDA 1000, which is a thousand watt uh, RMS four channel amplifier. And then we have this one, which has you know, become a bit of a fan favorite, the BDA 1400, 1400 watts RMS, four channel amplifier, you know, slightly bigger than my hand, which I don't have big hands. We've, we mentioned that before, but this thing is awesome. 1400 watts of RMS power. Uh, we have a 1600 watt monoblock, which I don't have on the table. And then we have this guy for the, you know, I'm not scared to blow the budget or I just want the best of the best and I want gobs of power is a BDA 2000. Yes, that's 2000 watts RMS, uh, 500 watts by four uh, for a four channel amplifier, which our speakers will take. So if you want to use the, the component speakers or the CH horns, big, big power. And then you know, to round it out, because there are some like crazy people in the world, uh, we have a 3500 watt monoblock coming crazy and then we have a 5000 watt even crazier monoblock coming down the road so these guys are not standing still like uh, they got a lot of product already there's a lot of product still coming in but you know raw power really good compact chassis sound amazing all two year warranty on their product as well uh, it's just awesome man like tons and tons and tons of power this is next level stuff there are a lot of brands that are doing motorcycle audio um just check out youtube Go to see Carlos at NVS on YouTube. He's building crazy, crazy systems. A lot of them are using the uh, Cicada amplifier. So big lineup, big product lineup and gobs of power. And we deliver on performance for sure. Now, Grant, just to prove that I was paying attention, you said something before, and it is totally true. Mid-bass is one of the hardest things to generate in such an open air environment, such as motorcycle. 
But Cicada mid-base drivers have really kind of made a name for themselves. I'm hoping you can give us a little bit more detail and give us some examples of where the popular mid-base models are for Cicada. Ben, like I mentioned earlier, when we're talking about components, mid-base is probably the hardest thing to get on a bike. So obviously we touched on these in the component section, the six and a half inch mid-base speakers, the six by nine mid-base speaker, and we also have an eight inch in this category. Uh, and then we're going to talk into something a little different um, because these are, these they're called mid-base drivers, but they don't look like mid-base drivers. So I'm going to feature these couple of guys right here. <clears throat> so this looks like a subwoofer. They're categorized as mid-base drivers, but it's really hard getting sub, even harder getting sub-base on a motorcycle. So these guys are absolutely amazing. So we start off with our little guy here. Uh, I say little, it's going to take about, it's about 25 pounds. Uh, this is a CM8 S4B. So this is a eight inch mid-base driver with 500 watts RMS power handling, cast basket, huge, huge magnet, Lots and lots of power handling, lots of venting around the voice coil because obviously we're putting these in small, compact, tight enclosures. So incredible, incredible carbon fiber cones on the 8-inch one. The 10-inch one will transition to that on future models. But you talk about some serious mid-bass in your bag lids. Um, the 8-inch one is our most popular one because it fits better and doesn't weigh as much because um, this is, you know, it's probably about maybe not 25 pounds, it's probably about 15, but uh, it's some serious weight, some serious performance out of these guys, obviously. And then for the guy that just wants, you know, I want the best of the best. Well, we have this little guy, which is definitely more like 25 pounds, is the CM10 S4B. So this is the 10 inch mid base driver slash subwoofer. Thing is absolutely unbelievable, built like a tank. Your 600 watts RMS on these guys, 1,000 watts peak power. I've got guys that are putting 1,000 watts into these, and they'll take it. Uh, obviously, they make a 1,600-watt monoblock. They're going to make a 3,500-watt and a 5,000-watt monoblock. So I'm guessing this is not the, the last we're going to see of these so-called mid-base drivers. They're probably going to have bigger and better coming down the road. But absolute animals, uh, guys that are using these, absolutely love them. You will get sub-base performance out of these, even though we categorize them as mid-base drivers. So this next discussion is something that's been really coming up a lot. I mean, DSP is no, you know, it's it's nothing new when it comes to mobile audio. But in the motorcycle space, there's still a lot of dealers trying to wrap their heads around why this is an important deal. Um, Cicada, no less, has, has already invested um, their energy and their resources into developing a solutions for DSP. So Grant, walk us through a little bit Cicada Audio's perspective when it comes to DSP for motorcycle audio. So yeah, DSP for motorcycles. So key components of DSP obviously is, you know, equalization, uh, time alignment, which you really don't need on a bike, uh, other than some, maybe some phasing issues and stuff like that. But you're, you're sitting right between the two speakers uh, and crossovers. That's the three biggest things you're talking about with DSP. So um, one of the big reasons we want to focus on DSP, obviously, is when you're starting to do these, you know, big, powerful systems using horn loader compression drivers, you know, eight inch and 10 inch mid base drivers. Um, you got some gnarly things happening, especially with the horns. So yeah, we want it loud, but we also want it to sound good. So equalization is a big part of that. So uh, we've got two brand new models. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, we're gonna have a DSP eight to 12, which will probably be here third quarter. And uh, it is gonna be a PC based eight channel in 12 channel output DSP processor. Um, so that's going to give us 12 channels of, of processing on a motorcycle. Whoever thought you we were going to put 12 speakers on a bike? Um, never mind have DSP and amplifi amplifiers for them. But we are. Uh, the market's going crazy. Uh, down from that one is another brand new model. Again, Q3 is where we're going to see that one. Is the brand new version of this guy, which will be the DSP88 version 2, which will be a PC-based unit as well. That is eight channels in eight channels out uh, of DSP. Uh, current models uh, are what I got in front of me. So we have the DSP-88, which is the standalone DSP processor, uh, little black box unit with gain controls on it for adjusting the output on it. But this is a eight channel in, eight channel out DSP processor. This is not PC based. Uh, this is all done on a Bluetooth app 
which will show you the screen image of the GUI of that. Uh, but this is um, PC, sorry, not PC based. This is Bluetooth based. It's very simple to use. The GUI is a no brainer. If you've never used DSP before, you're terrified of DSP. You won't be scared of this one. There's not much to it as far as, um, you know, anything complicated. We've got input adjustments. We've got output adjustments. We've got EQ, DSP, um, time alignment and crossovers. We have all that in there, but the GUI is super intuitive and very easy to use. You can do it. You're not busting out your PC. Some guys may not have a PC to do DSP tuning. This is all done on app. You can get from Google Play Store, or Apple Play Store, and download it to your phone. So eight channel in, eight channel out, full adjustability of anything you'd want to do audio-wise, up to 48 dB crossover slopes, high pass, low pass, band pass, you name it, it's got all the features in it. So that's the original unit, and we'll have a PC-based version of that with a, a nicer GUI and everything for those guys that like to play with uh, PC-based um, DSP processors. Uh, the first one with the integrated amplifier is the DSP 600.4. Uh, that one has got the um, six-channel in, eight-channel out DSP processors built into it. And then coming very soon, this isn't the actual unit, but there's a BDA 1400 amplifier. We're also going to have a BDA 1400 DSP processor with uh, eight channel DSP built into it as well. So, you know, making sure your system sounds really good, making sure everything's done properly, crossed over properly is important to us to give you the best performing audio. So we're going to be heavy in the DSP market. Uh, currently with the two new models, we're going to have five right out of the gate. Grant, I want to thank you for taking the time to go through all these special products, but I, there's one thing I want to ask. I mean, a lot of these things are, you know, standard products that fit, but what are some of the details that we might have missed that really make Cicada stand out? And what are some of the exclusives even that only Cicada provides? Well, I'm glad you asked. I might just have some products here we can talk about that. So uh, one of the things I think that is really important for dealers to understand well, what makes Cicada different from all of the products. Like, let's take this guy, for example. Okay, so there's six and a half inch coaxial horn. Uh, a lot of subwoofers in the market in car audio, um, really well-known brands, use a one and a half inch voice coil on their most popular 10 inch subwoofers. Okay. And they're, you know, doing 200 watts of power handling, 250 watts of power handling, so on and so forth. This is our six and a half inch coax horn. On the horn, we have a 1.4 inch voice coil on the horn, not on the mid bass driver, on the horn. So again, about the same size as a lot of guys are using on their, you know, popular subwoofers. On the mid-bass driver, we're using a two-inch voice coil on our mid-bass drivers. So when we put on the back of here 250 watts RMS, and some guys are putting upwards of 500 watts RMS on these, that's why it can take the power handling. We've got the voice coils in here that'll take that abuse, take the power that we're delivering to it. So I just want to make sure that was a key feature we might have missed uh, talking about the coaxial speakers. Um, some unique products, obviously, you know, the 10 inch mid bass driver slash subwoofer is pretty unique. Uh, but they came out with this guy, which we'll talk about in a second. So this is in a little tiny bag lid. Okay. So we've got this in your bag lid that might have, you know, one and a half cubic feet of air volume in it. And we're pumping 600 watts, 1000 watts. 1600 watts, 3500 watts of power into these things. Uh, what do you think's happened to the back wave of this subwoofer? Okay, it's making your six by nine coaxial speaker act like a passive radiator. And so that six by nine is a waste of space, basically. So Larry and the guys came up with this beast here, which is called the RR3T. And it's not only is it, you know, kind of weird looking, uh, but it, it's, it's a tank of a product. So this is a three inch mid range horn speaker that'll absolutely tear your face off if you don't EQ it. And that's why we have DSPs. Um, but this thing is an absolute beast. If you look at the back of it, it's sealed. So the perfect application for this is you're using one of our eight inch mid bass drivers or our 10 inch mid bass driver with a ton of power in it and you don't want your six by nine to be a passive rate area, you use these guys. So this is gonna give you a massive amount of output 
a three inch horn. Uh, this thing has to be heard to believe it's absolutely stunning what it does. So, uh, you talk about unique product. There's no one has this kind of thing. Uh, not exactly, not, not at least on motorcycles. They make three inch horns elsewhere, but not for motorcycles. So you want unique, different, the RR3T, uh, try that out with one of their eight inch or 10 inch mid base drivers. You will not be disappointed. We've come to the end of the line, Grant, but of course, in true Cicada fashion, they didn't forget about the installer because there's some unique accessories that they've engineered to really help with that entire progress. Let's finish off strong with the unique accessories and uh, support items that Cicada has come up with to install their gear. Ben, as you can tell by the messy table in front of me here, um, this is a small selection, although it's not small, of all the different accessories they have to make your installation uh as simple as you want or as complicated as you want or everything you would possibly need to make your system work. So we've got everything from front input harnesses, rear output harnesses. We've got uh, the jerry strap, which is the uh, hand lidge covers for your uh, bag lids. Uh, there was a guy at, I think it was Sturgis they were at a couple of years ago or a year and a half ago. And uh, there was a guy that was looking a way to put the crossover, the passive crossover that comes with the six by nines and uh, making it a better way. He goes, hey, look, these, cloth hinges that come with harley davidson we can improve on that so they put a little pouch in there to put the passive crossover in there and the guy's name was jerry so they call it the jerry strap um again every single product molex you would possibly want we've got four gauge amp kits eight gauge amp kits all the right length you would possibly need for your bike we got hinge lid covers to protect your six by nine speakers from getting an extra bit of rain on top of there if you get caught in a rainstorm you can throw these on these stretchable neoprene bags that go over your lid covers to protect you from moisture. Uh, some really key things that every single shop should have because there's a version of Harley Davidson called a CVO, and you absolutely have to have this. So this is a CVO BP, which is a CVO bypass harness kit. Uh, they're inexpensive. You should have one of these in stock at all time. They're like 50 bucks retail. You should have these in stock. You get a CVO in here. You got to bypass the factory amplifier. Uh, you need this. So, ton of accessories. Uh, let me get rid of this and talk about one of the most popular kits is our Pro HD Pro 4K kit. So this is a four gauge, sorry, an eight gauge amplifier harness kit. Again, the power wire is all the right length you need for the bike. Termination ring terminals, everything in the box. And then we give you all the input and output harnesses you would possibly want for your Harley Davidson uh, system installation. So if you're doing a amp four channel amplifier, front speakers, rear speakers, whether it's comp compression horns, coaxes, or our component speakers, this is a necessary when you're adding a kit. So it's a four, eight gauge amp kit with all your connectors in the box. Super, super easy. You're not buying, you can buy all these extra harnesses, but you can buy most of what you need in this one little box. So this is our one, one of the most popular accessories, HD Pro 4K. If you're taking notes, that's one of the most popular guys to get. There you have it, guys. Grant McFadder coming in on behalf of Cicada Motorcycle Audio. If you're interested to find out more information on any of the products that we covered here on today's show, check out their website. It's cicadaaudio.com. And if you happen to be a dealer in Canada, make sure you reach out to the good folks at Trends Electronics. You can find them at trendsinc.com. That's it for this CMA Network's presentation brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.